Hey guys, I'm Jamie McDonald with The Game Agency and we're here at the Game Agency booth at the DevLearn Conference in Las Vegas. Hey, I'm Walt Gill from Barclay Card and happy to be partnered up with you guys. So Walt and I met about nine months ago at another conference and we started talking about games and how Barclay Card was using games. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about maybe what you guys were doing before we first met. Sure. Well, we use um, a software program that uh, we can go get some templates and build games and we've tried to use some HTML and using some JavaScript, trying to be a little proactive. But when I saw Jamie at that conference and she told me about this, this game agency, I was like, holy cow, what is it, all this stuff? But I fell in love with the library of things that you've had, uh, all the games that were available, even, even the, the, the Jeopardy game, which was in its infancy at that moment. But what really attracted me was the, the back end, the analytic part of it, where we can just go in there and, and dive deep down to see you know, what, what question was answered the most you know, incorrectly, and you know, is it easy, is it something that we misworded, but we just fell in love with everything that you had in oh, there, so it was real that. fun, real That's fun. That's great. And when we first met, we only, so Jeopardy had come out, as you said, in its infancy, it was only a few months old. We had one mode, it was um, a, you know, kind of a standard mode where people could play as a single player experience. But then about a month ago, we launched this new uh, instructor-led mode. So now you can use it in a live environment. You can have kind of have an instructor act like is Alex Trebek and make it a more multiplayer, hands-on, interactive experience. Absolutely, absolutely. The, the, the things that we do at Barclay Card is we do have the instructor-led training. So we bring our agents into a room, and, and I see that using the Jeopardy in that aspect where we can have our trainer up at the beginning and separate the rooms and have that game, that yeah. challenge, that, that fun challenge going yeah. on is, is going to be instrumental in, in helping them learn and, and get them excited about learning and then we can incorporate games because I am actually in charge of building a lot of the modules that we have online and so I can go through the other libraries that yep. you have and whether it be the jump game, trivia games, all sorts of things yep. and, and incorporate those into the learnings too so it's it's yeah. sky, you know sky's the limit almost. And it's great that you'll have the flexibility because you know you can use it obviously in live events but if you wanted to you know download a game as a SCORM package and load it in your LMS you could do that and you can export it into a course as a web object so right. you can use it a variety of different ways. Yeah, a lot of versatility on the game. Like I said, it's we can go out and do this, but having your library right there for us right away is is pretty yeah, awesome. It's we awesome. love that. Yeah. And we're super excited about your ability to now be able to use leaderboards in a way where you can drive competition, not just singular, but also among tables or groups or you know regions or however you want to parse it out. But you've got the chance now for, for groups to compete against each other in a more competitive way. Oh yeah, we do a lot of uh, employee recognition. We reward our agents for doing a great job. And I think having leaderboards uh, is, is amazing. We do a lot of internal rewardings, and uh, we also have that friendly competition amongst you know the different sites that we have. So if our if our managers want to break down the you know how did my team do versus this other team, yeah. you've got it just like that. It's it's pretty amazing. So we love it. I mean, and it's been fun. We're excited that you can you know obviously you you do a variety of other kind of learning and training programs, but to be able to augment what you're doing with the games, and hopefully that's a nice complement to what you're currently doing to kind of boost that engagement level and drive home that the analytics and be able to understand you know where are the gaps in the learning and what's being what's effective and where you know there may be some needs to kind of reteach that information to drive it home harder. Yeah, I think one of the the one of the ways that we are going to start using since we are in our infancy yeah. um, is using the scenario based learning that the, the game that you have there yeah. to where we can really look at those analytics and and see what what we're missing what we need to look you know harder at yeah. and, and train a little bit more um, but there's just so many things that you can do with the library that you have it's, it's pretty pretty fun. and we're excited to be able to kind of work with you to help map which games may make the most sense for different you know whether it's different learners or different performance objectives or even different you know environments that they're learning and whether it's instructor-led or an e-learning course right yeah. and not only that when you say working with us the, the things that we can do already in the games where we can add our own pictures, our images, yeah. and we can actually kind of customize the look and feel of the sure. game already. So it's not just, all right, what you have out of the box is what you get yeah. to use. I mean, it, seriously, it's, it's a fun program. Fun That's program. great. We, we're, we're, we're really pleased that you say that because we want to make the tool as flexible as possible. We want to, and you know, if there's ever new ideas that you have about ways that we can add new features to the tool, we're, we'd love to hear that. You know, if there are, if you're ever going to use this globally and you wanted to add, have us add a new language, we could do that. So we're, we're excited to kind of see how this all, you know, starts to kind of mature and, and yeah. what we can well, do. Well, you, you do mention languages and, and, and you've got languages already in there. Yeah. We do have a German, uh, 
presence. Oh, good. So we, we yep. will be using the German yeah, part absolutely. of it. Yeah, absolutely. And they're happy to show you and your team all the you know fun ways to make that work really yeah. easy. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. It's yeah. already fun. And then the other thing I wanted to mention is um, what's something that's coming soon is we have uh, what we're currently calling a player hub, but it's essentially a player destination place. So you can drive all your employees to one place to house what, that houses all your games. You can have them challenge co-workers. You can do beat the boss challenges. Just a way to kind of drive um, that additional level of motivation for your learners to keep learning on a regular basis and coming back for more. That's awesome. I think that's important because at Barclays we actually will use incentives to get shirts or you know other things that uh, booklets or, or notebooks, anything yeah. like that that we give. You know, water canisters, you know, things like that that yeah. we like to to give to our employees sure. as, as recognition because they do an unbelievable job. I mean, what, and so you know, why not reward them yeah. and make and, and make learning fun in the process too. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, we're really excited about working with you. I know it's only been a couple weeks that we started, but it's nine months in the making, so yeah, look forward been. to it. We are too. It's been a lot of fun. That's been awesome. Fun. Thank you all.